What's going on guys, Alex here from PI Paintball. Today uh, we're going to take a look at the new re newly released uh, IV core for Planet Eclipse Geos. Um, so basically what this is, is this is the core drivetrain out of the GSL and the Geo 3.5. And this is backwards compatible to all Geo platforms. There are some technicalities with going into Geo 1 uh, and Geo Plus and uh, Geo 2 and 2.1. You can get the IV core in there. However, there's some issues with the can that we're gonna go over in a little bit. Um, so basically, if we just open up this IV core, we can see what it comes with. And uh, right off the bat right here, there's um, two spare rubber soft tips for the bolt. Get all this out. There we go. Uh, there's O-ring kit, a two times rebuild kit at least. Uh, Jack Wood said at least there's at least enough to rebuild it twice over. I would tend to believe him. And inside the kit itself, if we go ahead and open this up, take all this stuff out. Instructions. Uh, instructions. Obviously not the same manual that Eclipse guns come with, um, but I'm willing to bet this is pretty straightforward and simple to begin with. Uh, you have both bolts, you have the standard hard face bolt, and the soft face bolt. And then you have the prop shaft and the back can for, uh, that is the basically the IV core. Um, this is again what was in the GSL and what is currently in the Geo 3.5 obviously without the quick latch um, but this is meant to upgrade Geo, Geo Plus, Geo 2, Geo 2.1 and uh, Geo 3 and Geo 3.1 which all need a screw back cap hence a screw back cap so taking a look at this real quick basically um, your quality of shot, your smoothness, and your efficiency is what this kit is all about. Um, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and I have a Geo 3.1 right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the core and we're gonna go ahead and replace it with the IV core. Now, there was something going on with the cans I'm actually going to pull up the email from Planet Eclipse right now so I can read it to you guys. From Nikki T, head of Worldwide Tech over at Planet Eclipse. And basically uh, what this goes over is um, you can't use the Geo 3, 3.1, 3.5 can in the older Geos, Geo 1 plus 2 and 2.1. Um, word for word, because the Geo 1 plus 2 and 2.1 needs the can to have a hole in the sidewall so there is not an unsafe discharge when the gun is degassed. Therefore a Geo 1 plus 2, 2.1 always has to have the can that was made for that gun inside of it. So the stock can. Um, it is a potential safety issue if you try and put a Geo 3 can in it. So you don't want to do that. So if you're under Geo 3, 2.1, 2 plus, and Geo 1, use the stock can. So, that is your public service announcement from Planet Eclipse via me at PI, and I'm sure they'll put it up on their YouTube channel and their website as well. Um, as always, I would always encourage you to go check out Planet Eclipse. I'm a huge fan of theirs. Um, Planet Eclipse on YouTube and planeteclipse.com. So, there you have it. So, basically, Let's go ahead and rip out the core for this. I'm assuming I'll be able to take it out by hand if it's not really stuck in there. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. All right, there's your prop shaft. The bolt is forward for some reason. I'm gonna have to push it back. bolt. There. There's the can. 
let's go ahead and put Geo aside. So, here's the stock setup for our Geo 3 and 3.1 prop shaft. Bolt, can. So we got these three things. Basically what we're gonna be doing is we're going to keep the can out of Geo 3, 3.1, and all the Geos. We're gonna use the stock can. Uh, again, that public service announcement was do not use this can in roll their Geo. Don't do it, not safe. So here is stock 3.1 can. We're gonna go ahead and put the stock bolt, the stock prop shaft and back aside. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab one of the IV cores is just the regular standard hard tip bolt. It's gonna slide, if you guys aren't familiar with Geo's and you're just checking this out because it's no cool product. Uh, basically this front can right here, this is the back, that's the front. The bolt of the Geo goes in, just press fits all the way through. Here's the IV core prop shaft. Right in like that, it doesn't screw in, doesn't do anything, it just sits in there. And this is the entire body chamber length on the inside, so you screw this in, these just kind of seat together like that. They just kind of float there, and that's it. Bolt goes back and forth. So, after that, put your bolt in the cam, put the prop shaft in, slide it in the back of the Geo, twist it. That's simple enough, that's the only installation you're gonna have to do. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go ahead Put the stock stuff back in. Put it back in the Geo. We're not going to need that anymore. And put that Geo aside. Alright, so basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to go over uh, the adjustability of the IV core. Um, another quick PSA from Planet Eclipse after looking through some stuff. Um, the soft tip bolt is not recommended for use in any Geo older than Geo 3. So this is Geo 1, Geo Plus, the SL91 if you happen to be one of those people that owns one of those. Uh, Geo 2 and Geo 2.1. Uh, that is because of the design difference in the cans from before Geo 3 and since Geo 3 that um, it is possible, they think, for the soft tip on the bolt itself to actually start to get caught and get ripped off by the can. So they do not recommend using it. Go with the standard bolt. Uh, so other than that, we're gonna look at the adjustability of the IV core and why it's adjustable. Uh, basically, the adjustability of the IV core is going to, one, the primary goal is to increase or decrease your efficiency of the marker. The byproduct of this, it can affect your velocity. So, right in the back, there's a little screw hole. I'm not sure how the lighting looks on that, but it's uh, dead center right there and the little twist back cap right here. Uh, there's a little screw and it's an adjustment screw, you go in or out. And basically what this does is it controls the amount of air that's left over on the tail end of the firing cycle. So you can adjust it so there's more air left over in the firing cycle or there's less air left over in the, after the firing cycle. And the more air that's left over after the firing cycle, it's already there, there's already more air there for the next time it fires, increase in efficiency. It's using less air to do it, there's more air trapped in there in the tail end to be used for the next shot. So you're using less air overall, increases your efficiency. You can adjust it so as you go down and decrease the amount of air that's going to be left in the chamber after your shot, it's going to be less efficient because it needs to pump more air in. It's a pretty simple process. There's more, more air left over, so it has to use less the next time, so it's more efficient. There's less air left over, so it has to use more the next time, it's going to be less efficient. So, it's about as simple as it gets. Uh, there is a couple catches with that, however. Um, you can kind of hit an extreme on the top end. You can hit an extreme where if you, you're you adjusting up and up and up and leaving more and more and more air in that chamber to get that best efficiency, your velocity can start to be affected by that. You might not achieve the velocity that you need. The ball's not gonna go, it's gonna go short. Um, so basically you're gonna have to really just kind of find that sweet spot and fine tune it. 
so you can get that efficiency that you want where it's not affecting your velocity at the same time. Um, that's just going to take, you know, a little bit of uh, a little bit of guessing and a lot of air and a lot of paint at the chrono range or in your backyard or something like that to really find that tune, that sweet spot. Obviously, you're going to need a chrono. Um, uh, that's really about it, guys, for the for the IV core. Uh, as far as testing and everything goes, it's supposed to be incredibly efficient. Um, and I had a Geo 3.5 in here the other day. It got sold the same day I got in, so I didn't get to really mess around with it a whole lot, but I was able to look at it for about an hour. Um, I dry fired it a couple times, I got to shoot a hopper of paint through it, and I barely saw the needle on the tank move one, and that's out of the box too. Nothing's, you know, regs aren't even broken in and everything yet, which is great to see. And it was one of the smoothest guns I've ever shot, hands down. Um, the other thing for me is I've, all, I've never really been a super huge fan of Geos, just because of all the, the purging and the discharge of air that comes out of the body, and especially the back. That's really not the case anymore that I could notice. Um, you know, it does have a purge still right here, but it wasn't noticeable anymore to me. Um, so as far as everything goes, uh, if you're looking at a new gun um, and you really don't want to spring the cash for a GSL or a Geo 3.5, you can go grab a Geo 3.1, which are retailing now for $10.50? $10.95. $10.95. Throw your IV core in it for $170, which if you get one now from any of your dealers, there's a deal going on that Planet Eclipse has put out where you can buy a Geo 3.1 for $10.95, add the IV core for only $150. And you basically have a Geo 3.5 without the quick latch. Um, or you can go pick up an older Geo. You know, they're getting older Geos are pretty cheap nowadays. Even threes are getting down there in price. Um, pick up an IV core for $170 and you're going to get the best of the best of what's in the current geos you know without all the modern you know, kind of touchy features um but the drivetrain is really what makes the gun and if you can put the best in an older model um you know that's that's awesome that just helps everybody out i think it's a really great move by eclipse to make this uh to put this out as a backwards compatible part i really like the idea behind it um i'm definitely really excited to see if i can uh start throwing IV cores in some older geos and try it out and see if the efficiency actually starts going up and stuff like that. I think that would be really cool to check out. Um, if you have an IV core and you have a geo and it's not a 3.5 or a GSL um, and you have an IV core that you've thrown in your older geo, I, I'd love to hear uh, the feedback from you. Um, you know, how efficient is it? Did it actually change the efficiency? You know, is it smoother? You know, is it quieter? Um, you know, I, I'd really like to hear the feedback on it because uh, I don't have an older Geo floating around here. The oldest one I have is a 2.1. Um, a couple of the guys on my team have 2.1s that I might be able to grab soon and try it out on. Um, but other than that, I'd love to hear if one of you guys have one. Um, you know, either drop it in the comments or shoot me a message or something like that. That'd be really great. I'd love to know. Um, so that's really about it, guys. That is the Planet Eclipse uh, IV core for Geos, backwards compatible all the way to Geo 1. Um, again, keep in mind those public service announcements. If you have uh, a Geo older than Geo 3, um, use the stock, the standard hard tip bolt. Do not use the soft tip bolt. And you need to use the stock can that came with that gun. You can't use the can out of a Geo 3. So. That's about it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Uh, any questions, comments, anything like that, just uh, drop it in the comments section below. And obviously, I'll do my best to get back to you guys like always. And uh, that's about it. And I will catch you guys later.